Which one? Buddha. Buddha. Buddha was just a man who, uh, who died, but Jesus was the son of God. So, so it's, it's the, only, the only way. Yes. Jesus came back from the dead. He died and he rose again. So he's alive. But Buddha... Yes, he can come back again also. No, no, people, people don't. But uh, Jesus did come back. People don't uh, re reborn to another body. Uh, we only have one life. W one life, so. Okay. If G if Bula came back, where is he? No, where is he? Please. But he came back, and the people saw him. They saw him. They they saw Jesus. Yeah, maybe in your mind. No, no, five. But they wrote about it. They wrote Bible. The people, 2,000 years ago. Yeah. So, have you read the, the book written by Buddha? I haven't because he doesn't save me. It's just about man-made philosophy, like peace of mind. It, it doesn't exist. It's just a meditation. But the real peace comes from... Uh, forgive me. And he forgives you. And you're all the sin, bad stuff that we do. So. And then you know God because Jesus is part of God. So then you have God in you. It's wonderful. Yes. So, so we can know we can know that Jesus is God. Yeah. And we can know that He was without sin and that He was the Savior because He came back from the dead, and people saw Him and He said He would come back from the dead. Yeah. Uh, I know what you said. That's written in the book. Uh, because Nobody you happened. haven't uh, read the book written by Buddha, so you don't know about it. But he didn't come back. He didn't come back. So Buddha can't save us from the dead because he's still dead. He, he didn't come back from the dead. So if you want life, yeah. then we got to follow the one that, that has... Just that, history, just its story. It's real, it's real. Because there were eyewitnesses. People saw it go, Jesus, Thomas. He said, how do I know it's you? And then he showed the marks. He showed the marks. So it's written by in the Bible, I know. But there were people that saw him. I know that's his friend. Yes, but it was real. It was like an eyewitness account. Uh, I respect you, what you believe. Jesus can save. Yeah, thank you. So, did you ask Sampo? Uh, yeah, yeah, but you said like a little extra. Yeah, ask, ask it, yeah. Give it one of these ones. Are you from China? Yes. Give a China one. Yeah, give a Chinese one. Just a sec. We we'll give you a Chinese one. More some. Go and give a Chinese track, man. I think she'll take it. I'll go for it. Hello. This one is for you. Oh, thank you. In Chinese. Seek Jesus. He, he can change your life. He changed my life here. Uh, okay. It's very real. Yes. Yeah, thank you. He's the one name given under heaven by which we must be saved. For them also, they can have one. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. You know, shouting doesn't make it true. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. But, but you can be born again today if you say, Jesus, forgive my sins. I want to know you. I want to know you. If you're there, and, and show me. You should forgive your sins no matter what you believe in. You don't forgive. It's, it's God who forgives. In, he gave us a way it's through Jesus. Because we sin against God. So we can't forgive ourselves towards God. We can turn. So God is the one who forgives and he made a way. It's Jesus. The blood, the blood of Jesus can wash away sin. If that's what you believe, that's fine, you know? But that's the truth. We are, we're proclaiming no the truth. Tr the truth is only science. No, and science is else. an observation of... of uh, it's a process of observation. I mean, God could exist. I don't have any... I don't have any knowledge of anything outside this planet. How about believing everything that Bible says? Huh? But you're believing in fantasy. 
It's not actually because they were prophets they were sent and they they foretold what was to come. So God sent prophets and there was thousands they of years. They foretold what was to come. The Messiah, like Jesus, the Savior. His death, burial, resurrection, his... Um, yeah, but what about the most important events in recent history? World War II, the extermination of the Jews and the Gypsies. The that was they said it would be like the, end, the days of Noah, the, uh, the end times. And also... It, um, it said there will be wars. Yeah, there will be we're wars. All, we're almost a hundred years past that. Well, end times or whatever. I mean, like well, the not really because we come to end times was the Nazis no, exterminating no. six and a half million people. But that's not that's not one of the uh, end time events that are in the Bible. It says that that Jesus is going to return, and he's going to return. There's going to be a one world currency, one world religion. Yeah, it's but gonna how are you going to recognize that? Oh, there I mean, you go. some Maybe guy could just uh, appear and go. Hey guys, I'm Jesus. And well, then, actually, I'll tell you how you recognize it. Yeah, he says he's going to come in the clouds with angels. Every eye will see, every knee will bow. And um, but he and never did. He never did that when he was alive. Well, it's it didn't, actually he it did. Didn't in actually, happen. But he, he said the same way that he came, that he ascended, he will come down in the, in the Mount of Olives. So there was some, there was people that saw the transfiguration, for example, when he was transfigured in the mount. There was Elijah and Moses. You know, and he might have been dead, but you know, I heard about this Norwegian guy who was dead under the water, and then came back to life. Is he the new Jesus? No, because we have a spirit, we have a body and a soul, and Jesus is the life. He's the resurrection and the life. You know, and he raised people from the dead. I don't want to disavow anyone's belief. It's great. If that's what makes us happy for you in your life, that's absolutely fantastic. It's not about being happy, it's about getting right with God. It's about but you know, escaping from the wrath to you come. Should, you should just like keep that to yourselves. No, because he said go and preach the gospel to the whole world. But it says it's the power of God into salvation. That in the end times there will be a mark of the beast that some people... What do you mean end times? Take a the Susko Ka Evangelion. It's like one of those fantasies that people believe and then they die. But it's like as, as mental as these guys who it's are not, survivalists. He changed our life. He changed our life. Survival. He changed your life? Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. But it's like survivalists in the U.S. You know, have you ever watched those reality programs, survivalists in the U.S.? They're like waiting for the nuclear holocaust when they're alone in their bunker and they have to fight off people. Well, but no, you don't have them. You don't have them in the end. But they just die of old age and then they're dead. What is it doing? It's very true, but the thing is, we don't have to. But what about people who died 20 years ago? Where's the end times for them? Well, some people it's a point for men to die once and comes judgment. So the end time is when we die or when Jesus returns. So that's the end, the end of our life. We have this life as a vapor and then comes judgment. So we're going to live on in the spirit. So we have a spirit. You know what's going to happen? We're all just going to go old and we're just... But I don't think that's scientific. That's not scientific what you're saying. What I'm saying for that, I don't know. Because but you can know, knows. you can know. Yes, you, you can know. know. You yeah, we can know. You don't know. You don't we know. We do know. We know. <laughs> you don't. Yes, we do. Because God doesn't lie. Man, let, every, let, God. let God be true and every man a liar. Yes, God doesn't lie. God Where doesn't lie. Where has God appeared? In Nowhere. Bible, Jesus. But you know, if God was alive, surely he would be like reminding himself. He'd be like going, hey guys. Oh, he did. He did. We're back. We're here. He did. Hey guys. Let's just like, keep it together. Likely he said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. No one comes to the Father except for me. But you know what? Me. The world is actually getting much better. Absolutely year by not. year. No, it's not. But by people's own thing going on. You know, no, Finland. Man. Are they happy? No. Wars are at an all time low in the world. I don't think There's so. There's been a lot of Christians. Um, sorry. Many Christians. Sorry. Are Statistics yeah. say that the wars are at all time low right now. I don't believe it. There's all kinds of people no, 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 fleeing please. from Iraq. If you, can if, you can find, if you can find statistics to back it up. I know Iraqi people that. If that you can have, find um, statistics yeah. to back it up. I, I don't believe I don't believe it. I will be happy to hear any facts based stuff. I don't believe that goes it. On. I don't believe it. I think there's loads of wars. Everything? Absolutely. Okay. I don't believe it's statistics that if you can uh, believe, will make up. If you can come back with any fact-based stuff, I'm happy to debate But I, I'm, not in a, I'm not a statistician. All the prophecies have come true. Like for example, they're developing this technology. I'll give them a prophecy like, track. Like, like, like. Okay, you want evidence? So the 348 prophecies fulfilled by Jesus Christ. Science of probability, right? Of one man fulfilling prophecies, one in ten, seventeen zeros. 
one man for the same man fulfilling 48 prophecies, one in 10 with 157 zeros. So you can calculate how many zeros. Doesn't matter. When I was young, between the ages of 15 and 22, I believed passionately in Jesus Christ. I believe completely. I can tell. Actually, I can tell. He didn't give me what I wanted. What are you looking for from him? But if you weren't, what are you looking I for? I asked for one thing. He didn't give it to me. And at the end, I just. But do you think he's some kind of? Um, doesn't exist. But what do you think he wants to give you? Doesn't exist. What do you think he wants to give you? No, the problem. You, the thing is, is that then I realized, if you want something in life, you have to go out and get there, get it yourself, instead of asking it for somebody. You've got to go and get it yourself. All right. That's all right also. But but guess what? He gives us eternal life. 